Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I am your product specialist for tractors. Today you join us here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at our headland management system known as CSM in our CIS Plus machines. So you now join me back up in the cab of our CIS Plus machine. So what settings and functionality can we see in the cab in relation to our CSM? Well, firstly, if we look over at our right-hand control panel, we see that we get an additional switch located at the top side of our panel here in relation to our headline management. This is a three-position switch. So all we have is essentially an off position where it is at the moment. We'd have an on position in the middle. And if we wanted to record a new sequence, we, what we do is rock the switch right down to the bottom. By doing this, this would then allow us to start a recording procedure that we'll have a look at in a moment. So now that we've set our CSM switch on the right hand control panel to the record position, the next thing we'll want to do is carry out our sequence manually. Firstly, we'll want to make sure that we have, for example, our sequence one and sequence two assigned to functions three and four here. By doing this, this will make sure that we can use these buttons to play the sequences and also to record them. So firstly, we have also rocked our switch down. The next thing we'll want to do to record against sequence one is press firstly our F3 button because our sequence one is assigned there. This will tell the machine that we're ready to record. The next thing we would then do is carry out our sequence normally, so completely manually. So for example, maybe I lift my linkage up I increase my gear by two, I then pump my spool, blue spool valve in the positive direction. Once I've done that, the next thing I would then do is press my stop button that we have here on the lateral side of the armrest. This would tell the machine that we've now finished recording our sequence. So now that we've recorded our sequences using our CSM switch on the right hand control panel and our function key buttons and our stop buttons on our armrest, what functionality can we actually see through our CIS Plus display? Well, very, very simple in relation to our CSM in a CIS Plus machine. We have the ability to see what each sequence can do for us in terms of the steps that are within them, but we have no ability to edit the functionality of each sequence. By that, we need to move up to a Cebus machine to gain that level of functionality. You can see as I pop into my menu cluster, we have an additional CSM menu down the bottom left-hand corner here, annotated by the uh, U-shaped arrow. As I would be popping in here, you would see sequences one to four and the steps that are within them as well. But again, guys, just telling you what each sequence does, not the ability to edit them, unfortunately. So, thank you for watching everyone. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.